And welcome back. Now, last week, the Congress of South African Trade Unions, uh, that's COSATU, convened its seventh central committee of COSATU under the theme deepen the Back to Basics campaign, consolidate the struggle for national democratic revolution and advance the struggle for socialism. Now, among the matters discussed, Kasati says that the Central Committee looked into the national political situation, the emerging socio-economic challenges and also conducted its own organizational assessment. Kasati says that the Central Committee also concluded that an overwhelming ANC victory in the coming 2021 local government elections will work in favor of the country and the labor organization will be campaigning for the ANC. Now, Kosatu President Zingi Swalosi joins us now for a conversation on all of this. Ms. Lossi, thanks for your time. Welcome to Morning Live. Thank you for having me and good morning to Morning Live viewers. Let's start by unpacking that theme, a deepen the back to basics campaign, consolidate the struggle for the uh, NDR and advance the struggle for socialism. What does all of that mean? It means that uh, when we said going back to basics, it, it, it tells us that we need to go back in servicing our members, in ensuring that uh, uh, we also uh, elect capable shop stewards that understand their work and the responsibility that they have, and also appreciate that, uh, as we have said, that uh, the NTR is the direct route to socialism, but also part of what is in the NTR in terms of the package is also to ensure that uh, people of South Africa, the working class in particular that we are part of, has access to the basic uh, necessities that uh, it is easy to live in the country uh, that we, we, we are part of. So this is part of the responsibility that COSATU has Firstly, towards its members and then to the broader uh, society at large that we are part of and that we come from. So from an ideological perspective, the South African government led by the ANC for all intents and purposes is governed with capitalist principles and uh, business operates under such conditions. So. As an example, Kosatu in its statement blames the unemployment, poverty, the inequality on neoliberal policies. Um, what would you say is the meeting point then in terms of ideology between the ANC, Kosatu and the SACP? Look, Kosatu has always said that, for an example, that uh, the South African Communist Party is uh, 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 the party that is going to lead the workers in the NTR um, because it is, it is the party of the working class. The ANC uh, is the one that is the leader of the alliance and we marshal ourselves under the ANC in the capitalist state because the ANC, uh, we talk about the National Democratic Revolution, which we say it is a direct route to socialism and the party promised us socialism. For as long as we have a capitalist state, we are going to have the contradictions that you spoke about. But what we we we, we advance as the working class in the ANC, what the ANC advances is that the ANC is biased towards the left, which is its primary motive, which is the working class. And therefore our responsibility as the party and as COSATU in the ANC is to tilt that balance of forces towards the working class, which is the primary force uh, of the African National Congress to, and, and in advancing the National Democratic Revolution. So our responsibility in the alliance is to influence the policies of the ANC to favor the working class, which the ANC describes and says it is a, a, a primary a primary motive force that the ANC is biased towards. Mm. But what does that ultimately mean for workers on the shop floor? Um, because as you yourself point out, you know, the, 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 there is, of course, this tension in terms of the ideological positions and what ultimately plays out. We know Kosatu is on record, as is the SAPCP at times, complaining about not being listened to by the African National Congress in this alliance. So... When you say, and I'm quoting what you said, that workers would be the biggest losers if the ANC lost the election, what do you mean by that? And how is that acting in the best interest of all COSATU members? Unless it, of course, means that if you are a member of COSATU, you have to, by extension, be a member of the ANC. 
not at all. It does not necessarily mean that. As much as in our Congress we have said uh, members of COSATU must swell the ranks of the African National Congress, but we understand that uh, the only political party in the state that we are at, in the system that we are using in our country, remember we are in a capitalist system, it is the African National Congress. That is biased towards the class that we are part of, the working class. And we are saying that because if you look into the, 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 the legislation and the policies that the ANC has passed, the labor laws of this country, are in favor to such an extent towards us as workers. We have made advances in the in, 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 in the leadership of the African National Congress in this country of South Africa since the dawn of democracy. We have passed many laws. We have amended many laws that COSADWI has advanced uh, in favor of, of the workers in our country. And workers have already, and we're not talking about what is to come, we're also counting the things that we have achieved under the democratic dispensation, under the leadership of the ANC as workers in South Africa. And counting on those, and we are not blind to the fact that there are challenges. Hence, we are saying that any other political party, if it is not the SACP, those, those political parties are also advancing the same neoliberal policies. But we understand that the, the advantage that we have as, as workers, as COSATO, is to use our leverage of the political alliance and our political proximity to the African National Congress to win, to some extent, battles that are uh, uh, directed to us as workers in our country. And of course, as we say, we need to deal with the political system that we're operating under. For workers in this country to really enjoy the total liberation and emancipation of the economy, we need to start a, a, a dealing with the political system, which is a capitalist system. Until we advance socialist state, we are going to have these contradictions that exist. But what is important is the voice that we have internally in that system through the African National Congress as workers, which we have already advanced. And that is why we believe strongly that if the ANC were to lose power, workers would be the biggest losers because some opposition parties on record, they have said that COSATU affiliates in the sectors that they are organizing because of their relationship with the African National Congress and those uh, policies that we have managed to advance, we are more powerful and therefore should they take over the first thing that they are going to do is to amend the legislation particularly the labor laws in our country mm. uh, let's go back to uh, the statement that you just made about the voice that you have within the tripartite alliance now in the past uh, we had members of the tripartite alliance um, fighting a common cause against the exploitation of workers the oppressive laws of their country of our country under uh, the apartheid government but let's do a bit of self-assessment if you will what is the beneficial relationship between the alliance partners in contemporary South Africa, especially if you say that you've been cautioning against some of the policies and you've not been listened to. You talk about advancing a more socialist approach. 27 years into democracy, how would you assess the sort of inroads that you've made? Firstly, the African National Congress is not a socialist party. So, but it, that is what you are advancing. So, that is what yes, you yes. would like to advance. So, how is it working <laughs> within this alliance? Definitely. Look for an example. Kosatu has, for, for a decade, spoke about the national minimum wage, and because of our consistent engagement in the alliance with the African National Congress, we have managed to receive the national minimum wage. Over six million workers are beneficiaries of that. And six million members are not just COSATU members. We're talking about the workers in our country. Domestic workers now are going to be equalized. Farm workers have been equalized. EPWP by next year, we're hoping that they would also be equalized. And we continue to engage. Uh, we have benefits that workers have, have attained uh, during the dawn of democracy, for an example, as, as women, our maternity uh, leave have been extended now to six months. We have paternity leave uh, that also has been extended. And we have those that 
initially, if you cannot bear children, you would not be able to adopt kids and take and take maternity leave. But today, in the legislation, through our engagements with the African National Congress, who are beneficiaries of such, we are now calling for the basic income grant. Uh, we have managed as COSATU, because this is our proposal, that we advance at NETLEC. And all the interventions, as an example, in the short space of 18 months during COVID, we have managed to engage the ANC intensively. We have taken those engagements to NETLEC. They have been taken forward, and now people of South Africa are reaping the results of our relationship with the African National Congress. Because those advances are advances that COSATU made after also uh, at NETLEC, after we have thoroughly engaged the African National Congress, we have agreed on those minimum issues, and now they've been advanced, South Africans are benefiting. And we are now, it is also the ANC, through our engagement in parliament, that has managed to, to, to pass the law of the national health insurance through our engagements in parliament and also behind the closed doors at the political level. Those are some of the achievements that COSATU and the workers in this country have attained uh, through our relationship with the ANC. You know, President Nelson Mandela once said, when he addressed in 1995 the COSATU Congress, and he said, that is why COSATU calls for the reconfiguration of the alliance, he said, uh, COSATU needs and the ANC and the party needs now to define our relationship post apartheid because during the struggle, it was the African National Congress that stood with us as workers because this relationship that we have, that people see it as not to be benefiting workers, was not popular during apartheid. But it was COSATU as a federation with the ANC, with the SACP, that formed this alliance to advance the struggle of the people of this country. And at, after 1994, hence we are calling for us to redefine now what is the meaning of this alliance alliance. Hence, we call for the reconfiguration. But when we come to this time of the year, always people begin to question, but why are you still in the alliance with the ANC? It is the only party that we understand and that we know that has continued to advance our minimum program as COSADU. Of course, as I've said, the ANC is um, running a state of defined as a capitalist state. Contradictions are bound to happen. That is why Kosato said, we are calling for the SACP to advance uh, its program to contest the state power so that Kosato can have an alternative that is now going to take us beyond the, the National Democratic Re Re Revolution into the socialist state. Mm. I'm going to come back to that in just a minute, but I need to ask you, you say uh, you have thus been pushing for the SACP to contest. What if there were another political party that is more leftist, that is uh, more socialist in its approach? Would Kasatu be open to joining forces with them? We will have to see what is it that they are bringing you know, uh, and and so it is not a matter of a person raising a hand and saying, "I'll form." It's easy to form a political party in South Africa. It is easy. Our our uh, uh, voters' role is overpopulated, but we need people that are going to tell us. We need to understand whether we are reading from the same uh, ideological perspective. So there are a number of things that we'll need to sit down and look into, and then Kosato will take a decision, like it always does. On, in terms of whom it is going to support, because this is not an automatic thing. Workers gather in their in their uh, congress and they they make an assessment and then they make a decision informed by the appreciation of the setback and the advances that they would have made. Mm. So Kosato refers to South Africa as emerging from years of state capture, um, which has of course compromised the National Democratic Revolution, but. If you look at recent reports, Ms. Lossi, they show that um, the unprecedented corruption uh, is at its worst and, and as the worst threat today, um, more bold and unrestrained than before. So I'd like to hear your view on this um, in terms of the differences, uh, in terms of um, an ordinary person waiting uh, for government services, whether it's called state capture, whether it's called government corruption. What difference does it make for workers affiliated to Kasatu and ordinary people on the ground? We are happy that 
the ANC is beginning to do a clean up internally in the ANC and also at the level of the state. And I think we should uh, assist the president of the ANC uh, as the president of the ANC and also as the head of state in, in, in doing that clean up. We have seen people beginning to wreck, uh, in, 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 you know, shake in, the, in their trousers because of the advances now and, and the strengthening of the state arms that the president have done. And we welcome that. This is what we want to see. Because for as long as corruption exists, uh, people are, are not going to be able to, to receive uh, uh, the contract that the ANC signed with them, which is the manifesto. Those things are going to be derailed. Hence, it is important. Hence, even in our assessment, we have said that we are happy with the advances that are made and we are, we are calling for all of us to rally behind the, the leadership of the ANC, to rally behind the leadership of President Cyril Ramaphosa to ensure that uh, uh, the cleaning of the state and those that will be coming will be people that will be screened. Hence, the manifesto also says that if for the mayors that are coming, for the councillors, people must begin to account and the only capable caters must be deployed in the state. But we know that some, we look at the qualifications, they are more overqualified, but corruption is, does not necessarily mean that it is a person that is illiterate that becomes corrupt. At times, it is those that are highly and overly educated with over experience that are corrupt. But what we want to see is action. It is Kosatu also that went on the 7th of, of, of September uh, in 2017 and called for the commission in the, into the state capture because we said that for us to begin to advance the contract that the ANC gave to our people, people need to begin to be accountable for the roles that they played into the state capture, into how we have become to where we are today. So we welcome those and we, we are saying every worker in the public sector, in the private sector, must be conscious of the, the transactions that you are advancing. If yourself as a worker, you are not advancing and defeating exactly what the president, uh, uh, advancing corruption and defeating uh, uh, also the ends of justice by, by, by pushing the enter button when you know that you shouldn't be doing that. Well, easy to call on this when things are being done, but where was Kasatu when all of this corruption was taking place? Where was Kasatu as the vanguard of the working class and the poor in this country? What were you doing when all of this Kosatu, corruption was taking place? Kosatu is not the vanguard of the working class. You're not? No, Kosatu, it is not the what vanguard. What is the vanguard? The vanguard of the working class is the South African Communist Party. But what is the vanguard? Kosatu, what is your role? No. Kosato's role is to advance the interest of workers in the labor market. We are not a vanguard of the working class. Communist Party is the vanguard of the working class. Kosato is not even a class. Workers are not a class, but they are part of a class. So what, what, where were we? We have been there. That's why I'm saying that we marched. We called for the commission of inquiry into state capture. We received it. The heads are rolling. People now are being charged. And, 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 and we continue to advance and to monitor. So we need every South African to also play a part. That is why we're saying workers must be conscious of the role that they are playing in their own uh, workspaces in the public sector as to whether you are not advancing the same corrupt tendencies by what you are doing. Because okay. for every corrupter, there is a corruptee, so vice versa it is. Business has a responsibility to play because it is business that also put money to advance uh, 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 the transaction that takes place, which leads to corruption. Ms. Lossi, we have to leave it there. But thank you so much, Kasatu President Zingi Swalosi, on different matters post the Federation 7th Central Committee gathering that was held last week. Okay, that's all. We have to leave it with our SABC2 viewers.